Bobbin show and the Kula uh, online Kula here. So we're going to do a practice. It's uh, learning to move. So we really worked uh, one practice ago. If you did that practice called fire and honey, you're probably still sore. <laughs> Strap isn't going away. <laughs> Hold forward. As the side bodies grow long from waistline to armpit, plug the arm bones into your shoulder socket and step to dog pose. Bend the right knee deeply and left leg is going to come into a figure four dog. So you'll externally rotate from your left hip, keep the left ankle really strong. Please bend the right knee so that that right leg becomes a shelf. And you got a good outer hip stretch. Inhale, unwind left leg, step it up behind you. Bend that knee on track. Turn your right toes to the left. And flip it upside down. Smooth out your breath. And can you find the throat action here? Top of the throat back. And curl yourself back and in. And now we're doggy. Inhale, plank. Lower to the belly. This time we'll take the hands out behind you, fingertips on the floor. The more you can strengthen your legs, turn on the muscles of your legs, and then really turn on the upper inner thigh muscles, right where the thighs touch the pubic bone. Use that to lengthen the tailbone. Now press the palm, the back of the hands up, top of the throat lifts. Keeping the triceps lifted, bend your elbows, palms down, pull the belly forward, curl up, curl up, curl up. Sternum down, throat open, big smile. Inhale up and back. Om Namah Shivaya. Hmm. I always tell them next month's series is creeping into this month's series. So next month is all about Shiva. All right, left leg bends. Figure four. It's your little preview for. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm calling it power. Yeah, that's a, what do we have to learn from the Shiva Nataraj metaphor? I'm gonna unpack that whole metaphor in nine classes, it's gonna be really fun. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee. Slowly rotate left toes to the right. Now, really trust that left shoulder, 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 top of the throat back. And think about that cobra pose right here. Cobra, as you open. Beautiful. Nice. Inhale, bring yourself out. Oh, wow. That was a deep one, Miss Megan. <laughs> right on. And child's pose, my friends. Mm. Come onto your back and oh, we haven't done this one for a very long time and I hope it translates. You can either use blankets or blocks or nothing, yeah. And I'll just, uh, I'll give you my, <laughs> my good side. 
you're going to take those two blocks right outside your hips. Now you may need to watch this for a second. Outside the hips, arms up to cactus. And then as the legs lift to 90, you're going to hoist yourself up onto one of your blocks and then deeply twist the side that the feet are going to, that's the side of the ribs that needs to roll to the sky so the left uh, shoulder can come down. To get out of here, you'll really either keep the knees bent or help yourself roll off, reset the feet or the hips, pick up your feet, and then you'll use the block to hoist yourself up on the other side. Uh, so just a deep, deep twist here. And if it doesn't work to use a prop, do the twist without it. And when you come out, make sure you reset the hips so you're equal and square. And then I'll watch you to see if we're doing this right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I need to come down and bring the hips, uh, the blocks outside both hips. So hips on the floor. Mm -hmm. Arms out to a T. Legs up. And now try to hoist your right hip up onto the block. So legs go to the right. And get that right hip up. Yep. Now twist from right to left. Right ribs will lift, right belly will lift, left shoulder blade will root. Yeah, there you go. Now slowly peel yourself off of the prop and back to where you started. Use your core, yeah. And then feet to the mat, pick up your hips, set them down. There's just a beautiful deep twist. And when you reset, arms wide, legs up, deep breath in. And then the legs will go to the left. Hoist that hip up on to the left block. So I need to pick up your feet. There you go, honey. <laughs> and big, remember, stabilize below the navel, twist above the navel. And if blocks are too mean, try two blankets, two pillows. That's a, it's a pretty mean. <laughs> it's like a, going to see a massage therapist that knows that um, you can put enough pressure and it's actually good. Yeah, nice. And we're going side to side at your pace. Because it just feels like you have to be in control here, doesn't it? Nice, Lorraine. Way to roll. And figure out how your breath's going to help you. Yep. Wonderful. So let's do an even number, and then that's going to be enough is enough. Right on. Now let that sink in for a, a minute and take one hand to your throat. So I want you to uh, put your fingertips to your throat, just right on the front where your Adam's apple would be. And one hand to your heart, laying on your back. And give yourself, a, either you can choose, either it's yum or hum. And I want you to feel the vibration in your throat with the, the fingertips that are touching lightly to the front of your Adam's apple. Um, try the other syllable now. Yeah. Now try to go up an octave. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
And now on a sweet breath into your, your throat center. And a big ah out the mouth. Let your head rock gently side to side. And slowly roll up to all fours. <clears throat> Options for the last, well, probably second to last pose. You can either do it on your knee like we did before, or you can take full um, side angle pose. But regardless, the strap will go in your left hand behind your back, left heel down to the floor or left knee down, kickstand style, up to you. Yeah. Now we'll lean down, firm the front of the belly, wrap the right buttocks down. And as you lean in, you know, Weave that right arm under and find the strap. Give it a pull with the right hand so that you can um, gently guide the left shoulder more fully into your back. So let that left arm and shoulder move. Now top of the throat back, lower ears back, and you should be able to breathe here. Ah. Bring yourself a song, a love song. Now to come out of this, you'll slowly push through both legs. Remember how the back arm helps lift you up. And circle that out. Might have been one of your easiest bound parts, but Kanasana as ever. So again, options are all the way up for side angle or if you need more stability and less precarious, <laughs> you'll come down to your knee. So with that right arm, internally spiral, wrap it behind, bring it behind, firm the legs, firm the front of the ribs, anchor the left hip. Slide left arm down, and now really pull with the left arm. So the right shoulder blade, Starts to come onto your back for the twist. Corners of your jaw back, lower ears. And big open hearted breath. <laughs> and as you root through the back leg, let the right arm lift you out of the pose. Good job. Namaste. Nyla. Your homework is to go sing in the shower. <laughs> Thank you.